gas caps are supposed to vent. If they don't, as gas leaves the tank, a bunch of science stuff happens. I'm pretty sure it's called a vacuum. Science, whatever. And here it is, about to happen in real time. First, I switch to the reserve position on the fuel tank. And that is not working. Confusingly to me, this was the second time this happened in the exact same spot. Always on the side, too. It's how it goes when you run out of gas. The throttle gets sputtery and then nothing. So in this case, I'm trying to jump start it with the hill. Excuse me, son. Wow, Joe Namath. That's right. My car broke down in front of your house. <sighs> Joe, honey, I fixed it. It was just vapor lock. Oh, oops, hey, look, I gotta run. Remember what I told you. And when I get to the bottom of the hill, I check to see if there's gas in there. And there is. So I try and kickstart it, and it starts right up. Hmm. Very suspicious. It was just vapor lock. Vapor lock. Vapor lock. Vapor lock. This is a new gas cap. And where the vent should be, there was some white stuff in there. So I drilled it out, and that was it. But at the same time, you know, it could be grease and dirt. And the other clue was I could hear a high-pitched whine coming from the gas tank when it was parked, like a quiet tea kettle releasing pressure. If you're out in the world, you can just unlatch your gas cap, but in the long term, you wanna figure out where your cap is supposed to vent and how to clean it or drill it so it'll continue to vent. So yeah, if you're driving down the road and it just dies, it is probably has something to do with fuel. Other things that could be an issue are a lack of maintenance and something related to that. You know, we had a lot of fun tonight, but there's nothing funny about vapor lock. It's the third most common cause of car stallings. So please, take care of your car and get it checked. I'm Joe Namath. Good night.